you a story. I want to tell you my story. And my story of healing. My story of triumph. So if I told you that I used to not be able to walk or I used to not be able to use my hands or if I told you I, I used to weigh 270 pounds, would you believe me? And that is a part of my story. So I was diagnosed with multiple sclerosis back in 2002. And let me give you just some background before 2002 and, and who I am. So I am a musician, I've been playing music pretty much my entire life. You know, I am an author you know, I, and I teach. But playing music ever since I was nine years old, all the way until Dold, and, and I played with artists such as Beyonce. I've, I've played with her, I've played with Lil Wayne, I've played with Angie Stone, I've played with Patti LaBelle, I've toured with Regina Bell, I've, I've toured with uh, Glenn Jones and Phil Perry. So, and I don't say any of those things to brag about myself or, or to pat myself on the back, but I, I say these things just so you can get an idea where I was in life and about the things that I was doing when this, when this disease abruptly changed my life. And in 2002, um, I was diagnosed you know, I, I, first of all, you know, the first thing that happened before I was diagnosed was I lost my ability to walk and I lost my ability to use my hands and I started losing my, my vision where I had to wear a patch over one eye. And that's the first thing that happened and I didn't know what really was going on. It was really a, it was really nerve wracking. It was, it was really frustrating to be in the hospital and initially they did not know what was going on with me, so you can only imagine. But after being in the hospital for a few months, they, they finally diagnosed me with having multiple sclerosis. And at that point in time, I've heard of multiple sclerosis, but I really didn't know what multiple sclerosis was. And I was going through a lot of emotional things, you know, being depressed about, you know, I, I had just came off the road from overseas, and it happened when I came back. And so now I can't play my instrument. They even brought my bass guitar to the hospital and I could not put my hands around the bass guitar. So that was that was a very, very depressing moment. And I have been playing music, you know, at that point for over 20 years. So now the question is, what am I going to do? What am I going to, to do with my life? I knew that I was running some businesses, but, but music is the main thing that I was doing was playing the bass guitar and I, and I came to a moment to I said you know what I, I don't want to allow the current circumstance to dictate my future and I didn't know at that at that time if that meant that I wasn't going to walk again and I was going to do something else or really what was what was going to happen but when I started to do that I started to dig into myself I started to you know, just laying there in the hospital and, and even after that, start to dig into myself to, you know, what's going on with my life. It, you know, when, when, you're, when you're laid up a lot of times that, you know, it gives you a moment to think, you know. So, and I realized that I had to change a lot of things from the inside out. I mean, just not one thing, but I had to change many things. I had to change how I was eating. I had to change how I was thinking. I had to change my perception. Like I said, I was weighing 270 pounds, you know, at, at that point in my life. So I, there's a lot of things that needed to be changed that I just had to change in my life. And as I started to change things little by little, you know, all the different, my emotional, my, my, my mental, my physical and all those things that I started to get feelings in my leg. I started to, to be able to walk with a walker. I started to be able to walk with a cane. You know, I, I, no, I no longer needed to have the eye patch over my eye. So just from changing from the inside out, I started to relive my life again as it once was. And I say this story and follow me that, you know, it's, it's, it's a story of healing. It's a, it's a story of triumph. I, I wrote a book about it but it's a story of healing and triumph because I see that there's a, there's a lot of 
a lot of people that I have met either with multiple sclerosis or uh, or other other autoimmune disease that they have they have struggled they have problems um, going through those particular things and and met some that that was not able to walk and they just never walked again and I'm so grateful that I I came back from that you know as I as I am sitting here today that I'm just overwhelmed with just joy and happiness and and not a joy and happiness of that I'm selfish about it but a joy and happiness that I know that it can be the same for you too it can absolutely be the same you can absolutely change everything about your life from the inside out you know what I learned that what we start to manifest in our mind starts to manifest physically you know i had a lot of, i was dealing with a lot of hurt i was dealing with, with pain i was dealing with fear there was a lot of issues that i was dealing with on the inside that i did not realize that those things start to manifest on the outside and i started to get sick you know i also was, it was had high cholesterol really high cholesterol they told me i was having many strokes and i started to make some changes there too and it's been seven years now and my cholesterol hasn't been up you know I haven't you know it's, my cholesterol level has been down and it's been seven years so this is not anything that you know I'm, I'm telling you this because these are things that I, you know things that happen to me happen in my life and that can happen for you you don't have to live a life with diabetes or high cholesterol or any of the ailments and things that you have and I tell this story of healing and triumph so you can have the same experience of healing and triumph. You know, I, I don't I don't think I'm anything special or no one special, but I think that if I can do it, you can do it too. You know, I learned some steps to, to what to do for me. And although the individual steps may be slightly changed, but the principles are still the same. The principles are the same. But I wanted to share the story of triumph through now I call myself a multiple sclerosis conqueror because I conquered multiple sclerosis multiple sclerosis did not conquer me I conquered it I was able to 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 be strong enough to be powerful enough to be wise enough to conquer what they say that there is no cure for it and I absolutely absolutely believe that there is a cure and the cure is in your own hands it's what you do it's how you change the way you eating how you change the way your perception is how you change your lifestyle I will do another video that I will detail some of the things that I've done and hopefully those things will help you to make it through you know whatever that you may be dealing with your multiple sclerosis but I'm glad that you joined me I'm glad that you're watching this video I hope that you share this video with as many people and friends uh, that that you may have for my multiple sclerosis I do have a book called achieve a winning mindset and a portion of the sales of that book goes to the multiple sclerosis society so you can just go to my website www thechrisblack.com again www.thechrisblack.com you can find everything on there about myself who I perform with who I play with and, and all of that thank you for joining me and listening to me have a great one